Hello everyone, this is Squeeva with another episode of how to make a basic slender game in Unity, or horror game, whatever I called it. So yeah, this is episode 2. In this episode I will be showing you how to add in obstacles and fog. So, let's get started with um, obstacles. As you see, once you've opened Unity, um, so yeah, once you have Unity open, I'm going to break the news to you that you don't actually need it open. So ha. Huh. Um, but anyway, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to open up Google SketchUp. If you don't have Google SketchUp already, um, it's pretty easy to find because it's a Google product. So you just go and you look up Google SketchUp and get the free version because the Pro is like $800 and the Pro is not much better than the Basic and it's not actually a very good program. It's overly expensive for what it delivers, so don't, just get basic. Alright, and let's get started. Alright, uh, no. So, alright, once you've gotten Google SketchUp open, y you can see you have the default, I think this is Susan, just click her, delete, and get rid of her. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put like a little car in our scene. So you can go to Get Models, oh yeah, and thanks for the artist who made the car. Just type in car, and we're going to make it a rusty, and so now, why don't we use this car, because this looks like the best car. Oh, no, it actually has a logo on it. Actually, no, I don't know. Down line. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. So once you've done this, um... You can save to um, yeah. Hang on, I have to figure out the heck did I put the other thing? Give me a sec. Yeah, so you go into where you're going to save it. Um, for me, that's going to be New Unity Project One Assets, and you can create a new folder. And I'm going to call this car. The reason you want a new folder is if you don't put it in this folder, then all the textures will get all mixed up and clippy, and that's going to be very annoying. Um, so you're going to call this car. Now, before anything, you want to make sure that there are no untextured spots, and I think everything looks kind of textured. So we can go ahead and close out Google SketchUp and go back to Unity. All right. So once you're back into Unity, you'll see if you open up here, you'll have Oh, hang on. I messed something up. Hang on. Alright, just so you don't make mis this mistake for yourselves. What I did is I say this is a um, SketchUp file, and that's not what you want to do. So, give me a sec. Alright, so what I did is I went to File and I went to Save As. What you want to do is you want to do Export, and you want to do 3D models. So instead of going to Save As, or Control S, what I did, you go to Export 3D Model. Of course, you find where you saved everything and car export it'll export you can go back to unity close that out yeah, it's gonna load if you can hear like a purring noise my cat's with me aha yay ah, my cat's in my way hang on now my cat's not in my way but you can see down here you have this little model of a car um, you know, you can move it around, see what see what it's made of. Um, but, what we're going to do is we're going to find a place to put it. Now, for the sake of the tutorial, I want to put it in a fairly accessible area. Ah, that oversized it. Let's just uh, size this down a bit. Now, of course, you can't size it down when it's dark, so you're going to go to Edit, Render Settings. Uh, that's not what we want. No. Just oh, that worked. Ambient Light. Turn it up all the way. Okay, so if we go to the model, we can just size this down a bit, but it's easier to do this. So you see how it's one, you want to make it like 0 0.5. 0 0.5. You kind of want to make it half its size, or you want to get... See, that didn't work. So now we're going to make it 0 0.05. It's a lot of numbers. Alright, so as you can see, I got it down to around size, and I, I did the coordinates of... Um, 
0 0.5, 0, uh, 0 0.05, and 0 0.05, and 0 0.05. Um, now you can see it's kind of in the floor, and we don't... We actually kind of want that, but I want to sink it in a bit. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... Uh, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my car, and I'm just going to sink it into the floor. And that gives it kind of an old effect, and like a decomposing effect, you know? So, um, now, the thing is, is when you, you, that you realize when you start playing the game, oh, my mouse is all flashy, that's annoying, is that you can walk right through it. And uh, I don't know about you, but I've never been able to walk through a car. If you can walk through a car, post a video. <laughs> I'd like to see that. I would like to see you try. Actually, that might go vir viral if you s try that and fail. But what you want to do is you want to go... I'm going to click on the model down here. And you want to go to Generate Colliders. You want to check that off if it actually checks off. So now when you play... <sighs> I said when you play, damn unity, it should be able to actually, yes, apply, apply all imports. You should be able to not run in through it. Yeah, and it, it's not really a box, which I like. So, you know, you can put a clue inside of here. Now, this is the one thing you got to watch out for, is make sure it doesn't do that. Because keep in mind that the trees aren't actually objects, they're shades. Actually, sh think of it like this. That's an object in reality, and this is a hologram. So, I, I never actually told you about this, but here's, here's just some, you know, sage advice. Kind of. You gotta realize the, the difference that this uses shader instead of OpenGL. And OpenGL is ba built off of triangles, so you can think of OpenGL as just a ton of triangles, like a ton of really small triangles stacked upon each other to form an like, image. So that's for OpenGL, but since Unity uses shader, it, it's kind of um, it's kind of like the object, it's like a shape. So that's where you can get all the detailed images. So opposed to being a bunch of triangles and geometric shapes, it's just a, the big shape with textures on it. So it, no, no. Here's how to put it. OpenGL is a bunch of shapes, and then shaders a texture. That's just that. And s that being said, this can be walked through. Now, I just put in a collider here. Uh, I don't really know how to make it so you can't walk through this, but I want to make this game perfect. So I'll figure out how to do that for you. Now, the last thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to move this guy out of the tree. And I don't really want to spawn into him, so I'll fix that. But I would. Oh. Yeah, there we go. And go back a bit, and then just play. And we'll see what happens. Oh god, the lag. Yep, alright, it's all good. I just want to see how long this video is getting. It's eight minutes. Okay. So I'm going to actually finish up this video with fog because I don't want to leave without that. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to edit render settings. Now all of this is in render settings. First, and this is actually pretty simple. This is like the simplest thing you'll ever do. And trust me, from here and on it's about to get hard. Yeah. So you just check off the fog. Now, the other thing is, um, you know, you can see you have the fog and all. But when you play, I said you play. God damn it. You know, um, it's not really that dense, and it looks kind of ugly without the trees. So what you want to do is, instead of being point zero one, maybe you want to make it, you know, point one. And that, that's itself, is actually pretty up in your face type of fog. So, you know, that's kind of the fog you'd want to use for, um, Actually, I don't know about this type of fog, but it, if you add in more trees, then the fog starts to look better. But um, for now, because we don't have many trees, we're just going to use this fog. Now, the last thing you can do is you can change the color of the fog. Now, this looks personally the, like the ugliest.